Welcome. This is the sketch organized solve method for how to solve circuit problems. So in our sketch problem, we want to first by drawing the circuit. Show everything for this. And once we've done this, we want to make a guess for the direction of current over each resistor. This guess does not have to be correct. It just has to be made. And then once we do this, we want to draw loops for the loop rule where the direction of the loop always is the same direction as the current. What we'll find is we'll find if we don't follow this rule, we can draw many more or at least one more loop than what we need. If we follow this rule, we're always going to draw the exact number of loops that we need and we're going to have a lot of consistency with these. We'll show why and how. Once we do this, we also want to identify junctions. So in our organized step, we have our junction rule. Which is that the sum of the currents in is equal to the sum of the currents out. And we have our loop rule, which is that the sum of all the delta v over the entire loop is equal to zero. So when we are doing this, the delta v of our battery is equal to the positive EMF if we're going minus to plus. The delta V of our battery is equal to negative the EMF if we're going from plus to minus. And the delta V of each resistor is equal to negative the resistance times the current. But this is only if our loops are in the same direction. as the current. So if we don't follow this, then we have to think of what's going on with pluses and minuses, which we don't want. And so what we're going to do is then write out all the junction and loop rules for the circuit. So when we are solving this, what this means is now we are going to have some number of loop rules and circuit rules. We want to probably write a table of knowns and unknowns just to help organize ourselves. And this is right a great example of simultaneous equations. So this will often require simultaneous equations. What we might call two equations, two unknowns, or three equations, three unknowns, and so on and so forth. So how we do this is we want to solve symbolically for a given unknown in terms of other unknowns and then plug this result 
into other equations. So this is going to take quite a bit, right? There's a lot of math involved. But we eventually write solve for all unknowns. And back here when we made that guess, if we get negative current, it just means the current in the opposite direction of what we guessed. 